Let's continue looking at Conway's Game of Life. In order for you to understand these two files, how this program works, we're going to have to talk about classes. So we'll do that today. In fact, let's look at everything in this program that's probably uh, new to you. This class is new. This init here is new. Uh, you see self all over the place. Def you remember from the lesson on functions, but now these are called methods because they're inside of a class. And uh, some of these methods start with an underscore, so we'll talk about that. Let's take a look at the other file, grid mutator, same thing. Here's a class, methods with def, some start with underscore, self. Everything starts with self. All right, so let's learn about how to create classes. And I'll start with an example with an animal. And to create a class, you type something like this. This is the name of the class. And the animal is going to have a method called talk. And it's going to say something like this. And then we're going to have it say meow or woof, depending on how the object was created. And here we're going to create an animal. And then we're going to call the talk method. So let's see if what we have so far works. It says, the animal says, and it doesn't say woof or anything yet, we need to add that. So we want to say something like this. So we need to create an init method. In order to receive the sound that it makes and save it away. Let's see if this does what we want and then I'll explain it. There, the animal says woof. And if I want to, I can duplicate these lines, make another animal, I'll call it animal 2, and I'll have it say meow. Then when I run this, I have two lines of output. The animal says woof, the animal says meow. Uh, you can think of a class as a blueprint for making things. And in this case, it's a blueprint for making animals. And to make an animal, you do what we do on line 8 and line 11. You have a variable and an equal sign and the name of the class and then some information that you have to provide in order to create um, an animal in this case. All right, let's look at another example. Here's an example of a grid, of a, of a class that draws a grid. And it's going to have a method called draw. And in here it's going to draw a grid out of X's. Then to create an instance or an object from this grid, we'll say what? What will we say? Something like this. And we want to say how big the grid is. So the grid is maybe three rows by two columns. And then we want to say grid dot draw to draw the grid. Okay, how are we going to get the these numbers into the grid? We need an init method, and we need variables corresponding to these two numbers. So the first number there is the number of rows. Second number is the number of columns. So we have to remember these, these values. So we'll say self rows equals rows, and self calls equal calls. So we've created two instance variables, um, a way to store data with the object. And we've remembered the rows and columns numbers that were passed in from here when the grid was created. All right, now we just need some logic to do the loops to create the grid. And so this is something you may or may not have seen before for row in range rows. And then for column in range calls and then print and we'll put a comma here and then 
uh, print here. Um, you can study this or look this up. This just draws a grid. So let's see what we have here so far. Okay, I made a mistake. I should have said self.rows and self.calls because I'm referring to these instance variables. Let's try again. And I should have a grid that's three rows and two columns. Good. Let's change this to three rows and four columns and run. Great. Okay, so now we should understand things a little bit better so we can look at the life program again. So here we're creating a class called life game. And when you create a life game, you have to tell it the number of rows and the number of columns. So let's look down here where we create the life game. And indeed, we do give it a number of rows and a number of columns. And um, the init method gets called when the object is created and then saves the number of rows and number of columns. And you know that we have self at the beginning of every method we define here. And um, why do we have these underscores? Well, we have the underscores because certain of these methods are um, going to be used only from inside of the class. The only method that we use from outside the class is start GUI. So that's the only one that doesn't have an underscore in the name. And let's look at grid mutator. We create a class called grid mutator. And notice there's no init method in here because we don't, when we create a grid mutator, we don't give it any, um, any arguments. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to classes. You may want to read more in the Python tutorial from python.org or elsewhere. When we continue, we'll look more at the Conway Game of Life program.